Today's Halloween craft is brought to you by science, and we brought in an expert. Sarah Habibi is a teacher and a scientist with a PhD in molecular biology. I have to say it like that. Uh, no big deal. <laughs> she also likes to have fun with her science and shares it all on social media. So here to show us how to make a craft that backs a science lesson is Sarah Habibi. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm so glad that you're joining us. This looks like a lot of fun. You say science doesn't have to be scary. This experiment sounds a little bit creepy. <laughs> Tell everybody what we're doing today. So today we are going to be making foaming jack-o'-lanterns. Yes. And so we're going to use the principles of an acid-base reaction, and we're going to turn this pumpkin into a foaming masterpiece. <laughs> Love it. It sounds messy, which is awesome. Okay, so <laughs> what do we need to get started here? So you already have your pumpkin in front of you. It has been carved out for you. Um, this is a really fun part that kids can do at home, you know, roasting some seeds afterwards. But we're going to dive right in. And so next to you, you will have a cup of baking soda. Go ahead and take your baking soda. And we're going to add um, maybe three, four scoops of it to the inside of your pumpkin. Okay, here we go. Will it foam more and if I do more here? Yes, it will. I was going to say that. So okay. the more, the better. You know, you can pour the whole thing in. Go for it, Lance. I'm like. doing it. I'm gonna, I'll be that person. There we go. Because I know my kids <laughs> would do the exact same thing. <laughs> exactly. And the best part is, is you can just keep doing this and keep reliving the experiment. I love it. And so next, you have a cup of vinegar next okay. to you and some food coloring. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and just dump as much green food coloring oh, into the vinegar as into you the want. Vinegar? Into the vinegar? Whoops. Into the vinegar. Into the vinegar. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to pour it all in. I was getting ahead of my... Yeah, me too. Oh, I love that it's green too. That's going to yes. be great. All right? Yeah. I feel and like, so Sarah, when I look at your kitchen, that no one's ever done this experiment in there. It's so <laughs> clean. <laughs> I actually do all of my experiments right here nice. at this very spot in the kitchen. I'm just a clean freak, so it gets cleaned <laughs> after. <laughs> okay. So now that you have your green vinegar, this is the fun part. We're going to okay. go ahead and pour it into our pumpkin. I'm going to let you go first. And see it start to foam. So you can go Woo! ahead and start. Oh, that's so good. That is so great. Also oh, very messy, awesome. but so good. Okay, and you did yes. not put all your baking soda in, so do you want to see what happens when I you do? I do. Okay, here I go. Ready? Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. That's what that looks oh. like. Oh. Wash the carpet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I got this. I got this. Oh, that's so cool. Here. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Gotta stop it before it gets to that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a dam. Okay, thank you. A little break water? Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Here. Nice. The best part here is that you can, with your kids at home, you can keep adding vinegar and baking soda and relive the experiment over and over and over again. So it's I... not a one-time experiment. Oh, so it doesn't create some sort of hole in the base of the pumpkin, like I, where you don't have to worry that all of a sudden it's going to go through the bottom? No, no. It'll, it'll um, stay inside the pumpkin nice and contained. This is really cool. And yeah. so what we're actually seeing here is mixing baking soda and vinegar. Baking soda is a base. It's also known as sodium bicarbonate. And then vinegar is an acid. And when you mix the two together, you create water and carbon dioxide. And so that carbon dioxide is a gas and it's being trapped in bubbles. And that's what's foaming out of the mouth. And so it's a really fun way to teach your kids about acid-base reactions with Halloween. It's really great. How much fun. This is really fun. How, I mean, why, why, why do we want to use Halloween as a good opportunity to create some science magic? Well, there's so many fun <laughs> Halloween crafts and activities that you can do. And our world around us is surrounded by science. And so I really think there's a science learning opportunity in everything we do. And with all of the videos that I post um, on social media, I'm always trying to take little things that we see in our kitchens or at home and turn it into a science lesson. This basically sums up Amory and I. Look at Amory's station. Very like controlled. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the chaos. <laughs> you can find somewhere in between if you want. Sarah, so what a fun. great idea. So much fun. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Happy Halloween. You can check out Sarah online at Science Bay. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.